Hi everyone. Today I'm in Florence. I'm just in front of the um, the Domo of uh, Florence, the church. Oh my God! Look at that. So magnificent. Florence is the center of um, art, history, and the culture. And uh, tomorrow and today, I'm going to the bridge and. Uh, the most famous um, art galleries tomorrow. Well, Florence, unbelievable. It's the center of an originated place of Renaissance art. So, oh my God, I'm going to so many art galleries and um, to see um, Da Vinci, Michelangelo, Michelangelo's David. The original statue is here, but I, I saw that 20 years ago uh, in a brief. But I haven't seen, I didn't have enough time to to see Florence 20 years ago. So this time I'm going to more art galleries. And last time I didn't see the Domo. The Domo, oh my God, this is so magnificent. Such a great place, Florence. Just love it. So. Let's have a very arty tour. Wow, look at that. This is the Duomo of Florence. Look at this polychrome color of marble. It's just unbelievable. I've never seen, actually I've never seen a church. The facade the outside is like that. And all those green and pink, white, marbles let's just um look at those patterns in statues carvings uh, it's just uh, so unbelievably artistic and beautiful and um, florence cathedral full money um in italian it's a cathedral the uh, Santa Maria, the uh, Fore. Oh, how's my Italian? <laughs> so in English, it's the Cathedral of uh, Saint Mary of the Flower. Hmm, flower. Yes, actually, Florence actually is, is meaning blossom. I flower. I flourish. So it's uh, and Florence is a beautiful name. <laughs> Lily is the uh, flower of the city. The cathedral complex in Piazza del Duomo, um, there are three parts, three major buildings. This is uh, the major part, that's uh, the cathedral main building. And this is a standing free tower, it's called uh, Giotto's Capolelli. Um, one of the showpieces of Florentine Gothic architecture. And this is the third building of the complex. Uh, it's called um, Battistero di San Giovanni. It's a religious building and uh, it's, it has the status of a minor basilica. This basilica is one of the oldest buildings in the city and constructed between uh, 1059 and 1128 in the Florentine Romanticistic style. Look at this beautiful complex. Oh. So the left is the main building, the main cathedral, and this is the Capoletti, the tower. Um, so many people here. <laughs> And this is a baptistry, three parts of this um, beautiful complex. And the dome the, the, the is behind it. We can't see from here, but uh, later I'm going inside the cathedral and we can see more detailed. And I'll tell you what, I'm going to climb up to the top of the the dome, they'll be great. Now um, I'm getting into the inside the cathedral. Um, it's a little surprise and um, a big contrast to 
um, the exterior of the the cathedral. The interior looks um, quite um, simple and almost empty. It's a big contrast to the the beautiful, magnificent um, exterior. Um, actually, um, I've been told that was uh, the design of the interior is meant to be like that. The, the in those um, time, religious supposed to be so simple and modest. The Gothic interior is vast and gives an empty impression. And um, as this cathedral was built with funds from the public, um, some important works of art in this church honor illustrious men and ah. military leaders of Florence. This is Dante, the Dante. most famous poet, writer, and philosopher in Florence. His divine comedy is one of the most important um, work of um, Renaissance. Now, look at the dome. The beautiful, massive um, dome. The cathedral started, uh, began work in 1296. Um, those people decided um, there was uh, just showcase Florence, the economic and finance power. Actually, Florence was the center of Europe uh, in medieval time. That's why they built a massive church of this. But they had one problem: just uh, the church is massive, but they left a big hole um, on top of that. So. The church actually, for almost uh, more than 120 years, was um, without uh, a dome. Now, I'm just climbing up uh, 463 steps to go up to the top of the dome. And this um, uh, stairway was built in medieval time. Actually, it's for the workmen they actually constructed the dome. These stairs are quite uh, narrow and uh, steep. Um, actually, we, we basically walk um, climb those stairs uh, between two layers of dome. Uh, from inside, we see um, the inside of the dome, the inside layer, and we basically climb up the stairs uh, between inside and outside the dome. Now, Oh my god, this uh, is, uh, I can have a close up to see the dome. The dome is um, massive. It's nearly 150 feet across, especially as it would have to start 180 feet above the ground, atop of the existing walls. The area actually flat out for the, of the dome would be almost similar to a, a football field. Imagine 1418, um, that was very hard to build. And um, that's why they had a um, design and uh, building contest to choose, uh, to, to choose someone to design and build this. Filippo Brunelleschi won the contest. Um, he promised to build not one, but two domes. That was, uh, that's why we saw we, I was walking through two domes, one listed inside the other, without um, any scaffoldings. Unbelievable. Can you believe I'm just walking in between of the two layers of the domes? Oh my god. Wow, the 463 steps. Just worth it. Look at the view. This is on the deck, on the top of the dome outside. And we have 360 degrees of view from the top to see Florence on top of the Florence Domo. Wow, I just breathtaking. I, I can't describe how I, I feel. Look at that, that's Florence. Oh my god, all the monuments, all the buildings are just down there.
and also we had a close up look at the fiscals of the dome. Wow, look at these paintings. Just magnificent. Um the dome has frescoes painted by Giorgio Vasari and uh, Federico Zuccari between 1572 and 1579. It is the largest painted surface in fresco in the whole world, a total of 3,600 3, square meters. It's, it's pretty much a, a football field. The frescoes depict scenes of the, the Last Judgment. There's some things, uh, you know, we can see it's, it's religious paintings, but uh, some of the things are very terrible. Oh, well, that's the, the hell, thing of the hell and of the heaven, yeah. And those, those, the paintings, uh, just the fresco, beautiful. Well, now... I'm just uh, on top of the Florence um, dome. Um, uh, just the view, a 360 degree view just uh, took my breath away. And I feel the experience, the experience of climbing up uh, 463 steps and going through uh, two domes, the narrow, steep uh, medieval steps. Well, that that experience is so amazing. Well, just a uh, few hundred meters, a uh, couple of minutes walking uh, from the Domo. It's another very famous um, Florence landmark. It's this um, Ponto Vecchio, which is old bridge of um, Florence. This bridge actually initially was built by Romans in the year 996 and then been destroyed by flood in uh, 1117. Um, and then the, uh, in medieval time this uh, bridge being reconstructed in combination of stone and wood. This is the uh, uh, Arno River of uh, Florence. So this was pretty much um, the oldest uh, bridge in Florence. And this bridge uh, uh, is, was famous for, that's the traditional medieval uh, time structure. Uh, it's got shops and uh, homes uh, built on top of the bridge or both sides of the uh, bridge. The shops in medieval times was occupied by um, butchers, farmers, tanners, and they have uh, their uh, products um, on the just they set up a table or the shop uh, just on both sides of the street. And now, these days, um, the tenants being occupied by jewelers, um, souvenir shops, and uh, tourist to, uh, shops. So, that's a, a must thing in Florence. And this bridge um, was uh, not being destroyed in World War II. Uh, Germans didn't destroy this um, according to actually a order by Hitler. Hmm, that was uh, something very interesting. Look at this uh, um, view. Uh, I just love the the night view of this bridge. It's so romantic. And it's full of history, character, the nights, the river. And uh, both sides of the, the bridge um, are the very famous buildings of Florence. Look at this uh, paranormal views. I just walking along the river this is such a nice experience. Florence just just uh, makes you feel like um, back um, travel through time, back to medieval time. And this is a 
most famous art gallery of Florence, Galleria degli Uffizi. This is uh, one of the most important Italian museums and the most visited. It is also one of the largest and best known in the world and holds a collection of priceless works. Particularly, this is um, in the, for the period of the Italian Renaissance. We, we all know Florence, uh, it's the epicenter of uh, what originated um, place of uh, Renaissance. Florence is the birthplace of Dante and uh, Da Vinci. Of course the most famous one um, is um, Michelangelo's David. It's uh, the original statue um, is uh, displayed in the Academy in Florence. And also Botticini's um, The Birth of um, Venus. It's uh, the major art masterpiece um, in the gallery of Uffizi. Look at how beautiful that is. Um, the wind blowing Venus here and uh, you can feel the beauty and the innocence of Venus. Caravaggio's um, benches Raphael's Madonna of the Gold Finch, Leonardo da Vinci's uh, Annunciation. Wow, this is Florence. I, I, I just you know the culture, history, art, um, actually fashion. Did I mention fashion? Also, did I mention the food here? It's so great. I just love it. Love it. I hope you like it like me. Thank you. I'll see you next time.